This video, which I recently unearthed from my collection, which I took in the early 90s, was of an open day of A. E. Goetze. Before A. E. Goetze took over, uh, the company was called Hepworth and Grandage, and they were famous for their pistons, rings, and gudgeon pins, or otherwise known as wrist pins. They made many other automotive uh, parts uh, besides these. They were world famous. There was nothing to compete with Epworth and Grandage at one time. During the war, they produced uh, rings and pistons and wrist pins and gudgeon pins for Lancasters and Spitfires. As a result of all this production, it became a target for the Luftwaffe during World War II. They also produced uh, large uh, piston rings for uh, marine diesels as well as the uh, wrist pins or gudgeon pins. I worked for this uh, company for 33 years and the department I was in produced turbine blades and um, compressor blades for uh, aircraft. Large uh, steam turbine blades for Stal Laval were also produced uh, by this company. At its height, there was over 5,000 uh, people employed by the company. A lot of the uh, local community of East Bowling uh, was employed by uh, Epworth and Grandage. Incidentally, the canteen at Epworth and Grandage, which was a, a large uh, red brick building, uh, had some of the, the, the loveliest meals you could imagine. They uh, really went, uh, went to town with the meals there, and I can vouch for that because I had many a meal there. And also, bizarrely, uh, the local community, the older end of the local community, used to infiltrate the canteen at dinner times, come over and for a few shillings have a, a slap-up meal. And I'd often see people that I knew never worked uh, at, at the company sitting down and enjoying their meal. It was common practice, this, and nobody seemed to bother. I've included a link below uh, to a film made by Hepworth and Grandage in 1957. Uh, when it was celebrating its 50-year um, uh, uh, jubilee. And included in the uh, film uh, is Sterling Moss, who uh, opened the new uh, office block and uh, lab at the other side of uh, Neville Road. It's a fascinating film to watch, and uh, although there's no uh, commentary, it's a silent film, it's well worth uh, watching. I hope you find this old video of interest and don't forget at the end of the video there are some old pictures uh, which were taken in 1957 and shows uh, the different processes of manufacturing at that period. And, uh, up and down the walls for people to read about. It's information of the uh, the piston pin and uh, ring products which the company makes and also various uh, engines uh, situated around the area which uh, for which these pistons and rings and pins are made for my family here blocking the uh, way through it was a very noisy environment um, when in full production although it's quite noisy now really is the treatment where the uh, the blank pins are heat treated before uh, grinding and various other things into them. These are the uh, pit furnaces, another section of the heat treatment. All those pit furnaces were later removed for a more updated kind of uh, heat treatment. This section, small section, is, uh, is what I myself uh, did. It was um, mainly for uh, health and safety.
Here we see uh, our convener, Harry Copland. Inside the uh, office. This is the uh, pin grinding area. <laughs> and here we see uh, the Lord Mayor and Lady Mayoress with uh, various uh, company uh, people. This is Harry Edmonds. In the background you can hear the verse and press uh, punching out so uh, blank pins. This was just uh, one of, uh, of many uh, extrusion presses. Our job in the tool room was to um, to grind these punches and dies. May I press this is um, a machine that actually cuts the bar into slugs prior to extrusion. And this is um, another extruding process. The company was well advanced worldwide in pin extrusion. They had it to a fine art. Take a pin extrusion as well. Unfortunately, I missed it filming all the machine tool operations where uh, uh, some of the uh, pins are actually taper board and various other processes done to them. I am now over at uh, the other side of the road, Neville Road, uh, the piston side, uh, and in the test house at the moment. Uh, these are run continuously. The pins, pistons, and the wrist pin or gudgeon pin as we know them and I run continuously for a, a set period and after then the engine is stripped down and the pistons, rings and pins are examined for for any abnormal wear or flaws it's very noisy hence uh, the engine in the sound, soundproof room here we are all enjoying the free refreshments after a walk around the uh, pin side. This is the piston side now. Just like a carnival. At the end of the video, I've put some old pictures uh, on. Uh, this shows the uh, manufacturing of the uh, pistons, pins, and uh, piston rings. Now these were all done under one roof on the other side of the road where I've just been. This side used to be the stores, so everything that was made on the other side of the road was delivered to the main stores here by an underground uh, conveyor belt. The underground uh, tunnel connected one side of the road to the other and I believe, I'm not too sure, but I believe it could uh, still exist with this tunnel. This is one of the maintenance men, uh, George, an ex Green Howard soldier who served in uh, Burma when, uh, when there was troubles in the 50s. Here I'm enjoying a, a cuppa with uh, my mother and mother-in-law, wife and daughter. It's sad sometimes when you look at uh, your old videos so when you realise that the older end, a lot of the older end have sadly passed away, including my mother. Here we see George again. Uh, fire brigade uh, demonstration. Walk tall. 
Old favourite, Punch and Judy. It's amazing how uh, popular Punch and Judy still is. And uh, it's not long since all the uh, politically correct brigade tried to uh, get Punch and Judy uh, more or less stopped from uh, being shown to young children. They still enjoy it, do the young. This is um, a rear shot of the uh, main office block on Neville Road. This is the uh, block what was opened by uh, Sterling Moss in 1957. You can see that in the link I put below. This is the entrance to the uh, piston facility, or as it was called, a piston manufacturing facility. Here we see the lady and Lord Mayor. We're just about to have a, a look round the piston manufacturing facility now. They had piston manufacturing um, to a really uh, high standard, did, uh, did the company. And the, um, the development of the dies for extruding the well for casting the the pistons was uh, was extraordinary they did a, a special mold i won't really too clear how they did it but uh, i think they had two or three pieces this mold made and uh, they were, they were in, the, the, the alloy was injected into these molds and the piston was just about perfectly formed when it came out and was uh, eliminated a lot of machining. This facility was one of the most modern in the world. Here we see different um, products, various uh, cars with engines with uh, their pistons in. It used to be called Hepolite. Quite a large area. What a fascinating place to walk around. And the different processes in which the, uh, the pistons were fine, uh, fine machine. I believe a lot of diamond tools were used in uh, fine finishing as well as grinding. I believe this is the uh, casting facility where the uh, the pistons were actually cast or injected. Right, this is one of the finished products, the finished uh, extrusions or whatever they call them. Quite a lot of uh, robots were used as well uh, in the piston manufacturing facility. It, it might seem rather long this video for what, what it really is, but I think it's unique because I, I don't know any video in existence which shows the piston manufacturing facility uh, and the pin ma manufacturing facility on the other side of the world. I don't know of any video in existence anywhere and I don't recall anybody ever taking any video of this company and that's why I decided just to let it run it's, it's not edited I wish I'd have taken more video of, uh, of the machine tool parts and the tool room and all these other departments what we had but at the time we uh, never realised that the company was uh, would ever close and sadly now it's uh, it's gone completely only last year 2020 <laughs> 